How How's about that? Now? Wait for it. Wait for it. Somebody clicked the mute all button in 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 XSplit. What kind of dad gum? Rats and frats and so and so. All right. We'll do that shit to us today on the day of my cat's quinceanera. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, uh, we're wrapping up here with the second episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. I'm stoked. We um, were conscripted into playing Ariel in The Tempest. Like, with no experience whatsoever. Yeah, we're not an actor. Yeah, not even slightly. Mm-hmm. Um, this is gonna go super good. Yeah, Chloe is... Well, we'll see how good a natural actor Chloe is. Maybe she'll knock it out of the park. But we only have to appear in one scene. Okay. Because the person who was going to play this role originally is on I, her way. Is on her way, but she was delayed by the forest fire. Hmm. So we do have the text of the Tempest here. Sweet. So we're gonna cheat. We're gonna cheat. Uh, but maybe we won't. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway. See, now I kind of want to read this shit again. It's a good play. I only know like one line from it. It's like, ban, ban. Damn it. Oh, right, this fucking outfit! Yep. Shit! Something, something. I can't believe Rachel's totally into this. Symbolism. All right. Symbolism be damned. I seriously have to memorize so all of this? Thanks, Rachel. <sighs> so, come away, servant. Come, I'm ready now. Approach my Ariel. All hail, great mistress. I come to answer to thy, bless thy best pleasure. Oh, these are just really uh, abbreviated lines. Huh. They don't have, it's not the actual one. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's just like four lines at a time. I mean, it's probably, well, we'll see. Mm hmm. I mean, what would be great is if this was designed to trip up people who were doing exactly what we're doing here. <laughs> right? Maybe. It's like, oh, it's the expurgated version. Yeah. Where they rearrange stuff. The Tempest remastered. The Climb to the top of the shipwreck. So we actually have stage directions oh, here. Oh, jeez. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to write this down. Do you want some paper? Uh, maybe. You mean just like crib this uh, the way you might actually? Yeah. How devilish. Or. 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 Oh! Uh, where's uh, Notepad on this? On Windows? It is being evacuated. Nert purred. Ermagerd. Germa nert purred. There is no more notepad. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. I will get you some paper. <laughs> or sticky notes. Yep. All right. I'll open a random readme file and go new. There we go. That's using your melon. All hail great mistress. 
Okay. Semicolon. I come to answer thy best pleasure. Found you the platonic ideal. Oh wow. Of note taking. Awesome. A blue but big. I also figured out oh. that I could just open a random README file. And then make a new one? Yeah. Uh, Watch none of this be useful. Uh, All right. Perform to the point the tempest that I bade thee. I boarded the king's ship in every cabin. Comma. I flamed amazement. This is actually how I study in real life. Read it aloud? Read it aloud and um, retype it. Yeah, I, I have heard that the process of note taking is less about having a record and more about committing the there. shit to memory. Although maybe I, that varies. I had heard at some Neptur, Neptune. A what? Um, it's a typo of Neptune. Uh, there are many different ways uh, that students might commit something to memory. Huh. But note taking does cover many of them. Mm. The one that pissed off my college profs a lot was the students who he would write everything on the blackboard and they would take a snapshot of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody did point out, I can't remember where I saw this, but it was like the irony of someone fucking around in class playing like a diner game mm -hmm. on their laptop. <laughs> wow. It's like, hmm. Climb to the top after, but are they safe? Get on up. Get on up. Get up, uh, get on up. Climb to the top of the ship, Brad. What is our cue? Are um, they safe, Ariel? Uh, but, 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 but. The Caliban costume in this is really, really great. Yeah, Nathan looks terrifying. He looks really fucking scary. Mm -hmm. Not a hair perished. Also, this is the first time we've ever seen his dad. Yeah, well, I mean, what a that, piece of shit. that's quite interesting, right? Because in the first game, we have no context for Nathan, right? We get some towards the end of the game. Um, but Chloe knows him better than Max ever did. Yeah. And she does business with him. And Nathan is extraordinarily dangerous and not well and one of the villains. Yeah, he's just really volatile and... Mm -hmm. All his troubles get just like forced back inside him. Yeah. Untreated. So he ends up at the beginning of Life is Strange, like so compacted and ready to explode that mm -hmm. he literally does. Yeah. Does Chloe actually do business with him? Yeah, at the beginning of the whole. Um, central conflict of uh, Life is Strange begins with um, you eavesdropping on Chloe and Nathan as Chloe tries to like extort money out of him. Yeah. Or just get him to pay something she's owed. Yeah. And he pulls a gun on her. Yeah. And you stop time for the first time, mm -hmm. or you reverse time for the first time, and intervene. And that sets off the entire chain of events. And then at the end of the game, um, <clears throat> when everything's gone to hell, Chloe's like, there's only one way to fix this. And she holds out the butterfly photo, which is the first photo you take. Yeah. The bathroom. It's like, you have to go back and make none of this happen. And it's just like the worst choice to have to make. It's just like, de destroy the city mm -hmm. or allow it to be destroyed or not only allow Chloe to die, but erase your entire experience of knowing her mm -hmm. from and, existence. And leave Chloe to die on a bathroom floor, yes. believing that her best friend had abandoned her. Yup! Aren't we a stinker? Yep. Just like, choose button! Like, I don't want to choose button. Mm-hmm. So doesn't Chloe end up, like, really, really screwed up if you let Arcadia Bay get destroyed? 
I've never actually done it. What I've heard is that there is a, uh, uh, the end cinematic for that choice is you and Chloe driving through the ruins of Arcadia Bay in her truck, heading out of town. Yep. You drive up into the sunset. Yep. Yeah, it's weird. Not in fact his reason. Yeah, um, it's made especially difficult because Chloe's there, like, begging you to, to kill her. Yeah. It's like, ah! The worst! <laughs> Ariel, come. Alright, we're ready. We're ready to cheat our way through this. Got our cues. I wish, like, my Tab. hands reflexively went to the five key mm -hmm. to be like, shit, it's stuck heavy. Yeah, wait. I'm on the wrong controllers. Oh, you're on the wrong keyboard. I'm on the wrong keyboard. Yeah, go. took heavy. Yeah, just hit, like, just like oh, shit. shit, 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 she's coming in. She's got that fucking DMR. Oh, right. Oh, you'll see. Yep. Or do you keep a phone in that costume? It's a secret. It's in the head. Yep. It's it's a heads-up display. That's what the mask is. You get it's a call like, and you just go slightly cockeyed. It's like 2B's uh, costume. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, look at that. Yeah, these are all the costumes. Time for notes. my big debut. Joy. These are actually super sweet costumes. Yeah, somebody had a lot of fun with this. Yeah. I really love how sullen she looks. Mm-hmm. Like this is this is gonna be awful. I hate this. <laughs> I'm looks going like to I'm die. Late. As usual. The only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. This is actually like a totally sweet interpretation of Ariel though. Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? Um there is an opera version of the Tempest that I heard about because the um, uh, the they were doing an interview on the radio with the soprano who had played Ariel. By accident, it. most strange, um, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. so cool! Here, cease more questions. <gasps> Thou art inclined to sleep. <sighs> Tis a sleep. good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. <gasps> oh, uh, that's you. I am ready now. The Get first time up there. I stepped on a Approach. live stage. My Ariel, come. Was Damn it. really fucking scary. Yeah, no it's problem. terrifying. It's so terrifying. I've got this. I just I walked walk to Rachel Fortunately, and say my line. Uh, the first bit we had to do was like, pretend that we were sobbing. I did not have to act. All oh. hail, great mistress. I, oh, we don't uh, even need I come to, to answer cool. thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of Acting. sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. <laughs> the barking dog <laughs> in the background. My brave is so spirit, good. Who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason? Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried even though um cried <clears throat> hell is empty i like how even you get the, the lines the right you still are suck here. out loud yeah yes <laughs> i mean we're not doing bad <laughs> for a high school area. student it could be worse See? these All lines right. uh, i guess if you're not this is what i'm supposed to walk somewhere the top of the yeah where's the main mast The shipwreck. Oh. Is that a spike? I'm... 
definitely supposed to do something with Chloe this. Chloe Stanfield! <laughs> <laughs> Not a hair perished. And, uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the aisle. In... No, shit, it was supposed to be troops. What? Oh. Juliet ETA? Uh, Ariel. We even cheated. Thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty. Indeed. <laughs> Thy liberty? <laughs> Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's, that's not her line. line. Is, Is it? What's, what's going, going on? on? Wait, what? Interesting. But thou assured my freedom. Didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. What? Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend. Are you going off is script to in flirt with me? Is not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Key, they're way off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you? Wish you to be free. We're on uncharted territory now. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Excitement isn't happiness, I guess, maybe. I wanna go go grow old. Hmm. I got bad news for you. Well, for Chloe, anyway. Nobody's getting old here. He just quickly. Oh, God. And oh, I fear man. if we set out in search of new uh, fun, you'll tire of me. And uh, then I'll be alone. I have thee in my grasp. Don't worry, this was at I the will very not end. Bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. Well, obviously. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful. Like the friend. audience is so. For but a little longer, I beseech. There's one like Grognard in the front row. He's like, <laughs> actually, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond his, this like, isle. Notes. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What huh. sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? <laughs> cool. Say yes! Oh! <laughs> yes. I am most pleased. Your duty done for now. So go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. I do like the bare feet. Thanks, Chloe. Whoa, well you had a fucking second and copy? Effort. And the ending? Absolutely transformative. I am humbled. I never want to do that again. <sighs> no problem. What, what the, the hell just happened? Of your Was story, that real? In me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look oh, on. Boy. He does make our fire. Fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! Oh, on! Oh boy. This is so fucking awkward. Uh, mm. as we could do as e'er my mother brushed. Oh, God, thou so... poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, 
I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you. Wow. Hello. Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Whoa, there's no tip on that. Do you love me? Oh heaven, oh earth, bear witness to this sound. I beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, I wonder honor. if this was the hardest, these his were the hardest His tears lines to run down the his beard like winter's drops from well, eaves like, of this reeds. Kind of like Go spot release on them, Ariel. My oh, charms are no, great. Right? Like, no concept Their of what senses I'm I'll restore. Yeah. And they shall be themselves. Well, like, simulating awkwardness in a way that's convincing is probably quite difficult. Now my charms are all overthrown. And what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands. With the help of your good hands. Best blizzard ever! Yeah, because you would have to, like, yeah, because Ande has it right. You have to act in such a way that seems bad, but also makes it sound like you're doing your absolute best. The, the try hard. Yeah. Call you that? What? The hell no! Oh! No, please! Please, no! One? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. I'm the stunt double! I really enjoy the way this is staged with the, uh, the lights, right? Which, you know, if you've never been on stage, lights blind the hell out of you. Yep, you can't dark... see shit. In fact, that might be something that makes it a little easier. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Because it, it, it's like, you look out and you just see blindness yep. and maybe some lumps. Uh, but it really does make that scene fe make uh, Rachel and Chloe feel like the only two people in the universe. <laughs> right? Oh my god, Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. In a terrible <laughs> night, I'll make you so yeah, Mr. Drug here. He mm -hmm. was shitting himself. And <laughs> that dude owes in me. In morning light, you wake up next to me. Hayek. How many characters in the Tempest? Prospero, Miranda, Ferdinand, Ariel, Caliban. Uh, there's uh, Prospero's brother. There is my dear. One or two other lords. What if I lords. told you that the entire fate of and our like production kind of rests upon your slender shoulders? Ship <laughs> <laughs> I've like never had an experience like that on stage. Characters. Yeah. Yeah, right? You were... No, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> is it always like this? Oh, totally. This is it's very such a vivid high. for me. No more nerves, sort of, like, just I can the actually adrenaline. almost taste the, like, crisp air in the, like, so, mm. theater first after glow. Are you proud yeah. of yourself? 
Um, Where you just kind of, like come down from being really, really on. You're just like, oh fuck, it's over. Drop the pen. Nice. We only say yeah, next to Rachel. I feel really <laughs> awesome. If you told me this morning I'd be this happy tonight. It's You've almost like there's a thing so with birds shit and today. Right now it's Rachel's pretty good. Feather Fuck off! Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Obviously. Is this first base? I don't know. Okay, we take the, a clip the from extremely this. sweaty high school hand holding. <laughs> Let's leave. For real. For real. We're broke. Huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. <laughs> I know. Like, I've been thinking about theater that dorks all day. in love. But <sighs> that was. <laughs> Don't say it was just was a crazy thought. You mean it. Mm -hmm. I but... can tell. You want this. Yeah. Well, I was in band, but, so I had like, no idea. Eventually. <laughs> let's go now. God, I love. High Didn't we already agree on stage? Where they all just play the, the same just... note at the same time. <laughs> Why not? Volume. It's very good. We only say yes to Rachel. <laughs> Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Baghdad. Hmm. <laughs> oh wait. Uh, uh. She's... Rachel's from California, but in the first episode, she fakes being from New York. All right. Tijuana. Uh... Uh... Hell. New York City. New York City! Obviously. 3 a.m. You and me outside some cafe on St. Mark's shoving pizza in our mouths and shouting Broadway songs with 10 people we just met. And this cute guy in horn rimmed glasses will pass by and see you and slow down. Yeah. Okay. He'll be like, want to split a cab? And I'll be like, back off. She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> <sighs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> this is unbearably fucking sad. <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> Are we gonna get the POV? No, I'm pissed. <sighs> Chloe! What would it take to convince you? Oh, man! <laughs> it's like... <laughs> just like the... How flip about? open the cover. <laughs> you just like... Exit frame left, and you hear t -t 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 like Rrrr. yeah, just like oh. elbow drop on the A. I feel like I should watch this. We're just a pair of thirty-something men making teenage girls kiss. <coughs> kiss. Kiss. Is that? Convincing enough? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, where do I put my fucking hands? That's too real. Yeah. 
I assume like the end of game will be like 99%. Show us kiss? Yeah. It tastes like Holy cigarettes. Shit. And of course it starts raining yeah. ash. This is so fucking weird. <laughs> what is this stuff? Did it snow ash here? In at PAX West, it was snowing ash. That's fucked. I don't think I so. I think it's a sign. No, I, I think we should leave tonight. Really? The truck work? If you want to, I'm ready. Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. For you or for me? <laughs> I gotta say, my clothes look damn good on you. Cool. Let's do it. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. The, um... That sounds perfect. The sky turned a weird color of orange, mm. which was very upsetting. Yeah, that's, it's very end of the world feeling when the sun is just like this baleful red disc in the sky. Yeah. The best part about Life is Strange Before the Storm is if we were to stop it right here, yeah. we would get a happy ending. It's like only watching the first tape of Braveheart. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's like, yay, he won! And it's over. Yep. Oh, God, we have to sneak in here? Fuck. Oh, nope. We need, like, Metal Gear Solid music. Hmm. Hmm. Good oh. lettuce, Foley. I'm gonna turn inside out. Wait. Rachel's mom is chopping lettuce with a knife? Yes. It's gonna turn black. Wait, what? You have to tear lettuce. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. You tear lettuce. Yeah. And she um, brought her new friend. <laughs> friend! Friendship! Our star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost Oh, ready. no! Chloe, was it? <laughs> it was, but that was before I was expelled. <laughs> now, it's gonna grab that, that, that girl that... who used to go here. What was her name again? All one word. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring up any sore subjects. <clears throat> <laughs> Who's sore? Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Did you get that one on layaway? Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, you must. She must. Feast. I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the now, appetite. What, a weird what? fucking milk jug. Yeah, that looks like a vinegar bottle. Yeah. No, it looks like it's, it contains, like, engine coolant or something. Yeah. Mm. Watch as this turns into a QTE where you kick the dad in the balls and then, like, knee the mom in the face. Yep. Yeah. It's like, sorry, gotta go. Are we not hungry or are we just leaving? Uh, which one? Not hungry is more polite, but yeah. I don't know. Not hungry, theater kids, amphetamine, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Chicken a la king and, and lettuce, yes. And milk. Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of really gal. Soggy. She's funny, this one. Well. I'm aware. <laughs> Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you The black join us for polo dinner? and khakis Please. that Rachel's dad is wearing make him look like uh, the mater of course. D at a Great. Like I a just keg? need to No, wash not off. even. Like a uh, right Don't not like a Denny's, but like maybe meantime, a white spot. Perhaps you know. Oh, no, no, you you're right sure with the shit thing. under his arm. <laughs> yeah. Mrs. That's Amber. Too fucking real. Okay. Like, I'm gonna go pack. Steve. After oh, dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? 
Totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. Huh. And don't worry. Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know, sounds gay. That I would normally say. Exactly. Yeah, like an Applebee's. Just some quality guy That's good. With the ambers. What could possibly. Watch this. He's just like, you know what? I will stand perfectly still here until dinner time. Hmm. Drew's oh, okay. Right. Oh, fuck. His poor fucking leg. Yeah. Was it his foot or his knee? His knee. Like, explicitly yeah. to prevent him from playing football. Yeah. Possibly go wrong. Uh. I never talked to lawyers. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. My MO for this sequence would be nobody touch nothing. Stay on the carpet. This is just like Thief. We need to fire moss arrows. Can you imagine a stealth game that's just based on like awkward social engagements? Oh, we need to make that now. That would now. be unfucking bearable. Like, if you if you stray improperly, or you have Rachel to like and I both balance had your great sort of like nerves and so forth. And yeah, to just mine keep from just like ended all little opening your mouth and hers, puking all over the I table. <laughs> yeah, if, if you fill up the, the 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 attention bar, you have to like do a quick time event where you have to talk. Oh God. The more things you learn to like, the happier you will be. That sounds like it should be a line delivered by somebody standing at the top of a set of basement stairs. Just like a silhouette. No, man. I'm pretty fucking the more far things, from okay. The more things you learn to like, the happier you will be. Right? For example, the coddling spike. <clears throat> Just look if at this. If I open this, will skeletons come spilling out? Fuck that. Okay, this is completely unrelated, but it reminded me of a stupid jam game that I, I thought of with Nick. Mm -hmm. It's just called House of a Thousand Skeletons. Oh. It's a haunted house, and inside it, like, every single conceivable space has skeletons in it. <laughs> like, you turn on the faucet, and, like, bones come out. Nice. You just, like, open the closet, oh. and a bunch of. I think that's an original who They're gives a shit. Under the boards, it's only xylophone music. <laughs> Sorry, xylophone and oboe music. Ooh, I like the oboe, yeah. <laughs> Wonder if this is a family heirloom. Is there a more awkward noise in the world? I fucking hate ticking clocks. Than the t specifically a grandfather clock, because it's just... Like, it's, it feels like it's slightly too slow, and it's really acoustic. Yeah, if I was within earshot of a clock like that, I would go mad. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> How many cabinets do you need? One for each of your stuffs. Don't. Do not. Nobody sit, touch do, anything. Do not sit in the recliner. Nobody touch nothing. It's like sitting in front of, like, a test rocket. <clears throat> Excuse me. Chloe. Rachel's okay. mad at her dad. And we're Chloe. Uh, uh. So who are you making out with? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that would be fucked. I mean, I suppose you do have that atom bomb in your back pocket. Like, I'd imagine... Like. Like, how great would this be is if you start talking with one of them and you start picking wrong options? Time the to set the table, I guess. The, the, the quick time event ends with, like, three options and they're all the same thing. Like, you just get backed into that corner. <clears throat> yeah. Man. But yeah, it's just like, it starts asking you searching questions and you just sort of, like, faintly imply that you know something you shouldn't. Mm-hmm. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. 
You know these dishes each weigh 14 pounds. Yeah, Steph says you're a nerd. Oh. Is he going to be okay? I kind of dig these interstitial sort of like consequence mm. updates. It's a really elegant way of just like giving you further context. For I wonder if this will be the most expensive thing I've ever eaten off of. <laughs> Besides my computer, of course. Ah, top kick. How do we get dishes? Pick up dishes. You just like Gmod your arm into the cabinet. Yeah, now we now now we surgery simulator now. It's just like set table stall. I wonder if this will be the most seizure. expensive thing I've ever eaten off of. <laughs> Besides my computer, of yeah. course. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Rachel asked us not to. Okay. Rachel asked us not to. Okay. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Uh, Setting the table? So, All business. you putting me to work or All what? business. Just stick to business. Yes. Stick to business. If you could please take stick four plates Be from cool. the cupboard and Be cool. set them on the Be table. Be cool. Get four uh, plates. What if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. Oh, that joke fell so You're fucking right, flat. Chloe. <laughs> All right, Chloe. Have you ever had a friend's set the table mother say to you? Ruining someone's You're marriage before. Piece of cake. That's like one of those like uh, no 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 videos where the guy like bails off the the skateboard and like slides almost upright it's off and then to just, the like, table falls with again. you. Yep. It cuts to like later and you've set the the table with forty plates. It's like, <laughs> and she like try to like do the nonchalant lean and <laughs> everything breaks. Don't smash the state. Don't smash the state. Don't smash the state. Don't smash the state. Uh oh. Yeah. I got invited to Din Roar. Sorry, Mom. I got bad fucking news for you. How many cabinets do you need? Must not smash state. Oh, God, you're gonna break something for sure. Glasses. Damn. The like embers how are fancy as shit. Uh, what do you drink out of at home, Chloe? I don't know. A glass isn't really an elaborate Those, like, crappy elaborate plastic technology. cups that make you feel like a, um... Oh god, like the uh, the ones you used to get from Burger King that would have like 5% of the original printing on the outside after they've been through the dishwasher like a hundred oh, times. Oh god. You would just be able to make out the 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 uh, the hint of the remains of whatever Jurassic Park. Isn't that just scream like, poverty? Promotional. Yeah. Oof. Like it's not even a bad idea, it's just like we're poor. So we like Let's see what save Rose has next can. for me. Ura yes, wait, Chloe? uranium glass? I fucking hope not. Plates? All business. Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? See, Must I, not smash I state. Will be a dear. Must not smash state. I actually Talking feel the same way about those cups as I do about like. As long as own, I can avoid um, using the words cheating uh, and home. scumbag, we have, like, I should be fine. No matching uh, cups or plates. Which is also like. We're not rich. Yeah. Because it's just like these are these are all like Hiya, Mr. Amber. a wild assortment Chloe, that we inherited what can I do for from you? here and there. Fair. What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Whoa fuck your no wife no 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 wants to know what kind of drink you're having. 
Ah, let's say Sherry. Is that her name? Okay. One, two, three, Sherry. Oh my god, Chloe, stop! Comical. Stop! Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. Uh-oh. I'll give it a shot. No, 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 this never goes well. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose? Gay, I mean, she... Who? Oh. Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into <laughs> just, our like, expectations. Uh, yeah, like, it, it intercuts with, like, Chloe and, like... That's a tactic people use to <laughs> cover for someone bursting. else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying. She's like glasses I said I over the payload button and then glasses friendship. back to the like but bomb payload. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly who Rachel needs right now. Like she touches the, the faded the photograph of that Rachel. This is like punches it. <laughs> uh, what a great intercut that would be. Thanks. Yeah, that doesn't really read to me like an interaction with a lawyer. Ask I don't me how actually, I know. I, Oh. Cause... Well, my dad and all his friends are lawyers. You want an exhausting dinner parties? That sounds... Love them all. But nothing is ever just a simple conversation. That... Everything's an argument. If I could guess what that feels like, it would be like, you know those tunnel bores? That advance at a rate of like an inch per yes, hour? Chloe? Mm. Like one of those just going into your chest. The boss man. I mean, it's like a sherry. it's what they've been trained to do, Thank you. right? That everything the is. The glasses are in the china cabinet. Every, you, you just don't turn you it can off. Place one at yeah, it, it's not the thing How kind of thing you just walk to get away to from, China? right? Like it's 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 the way Kidding. that they play, right? <laughs> it's is a to fancy argue looking about things. cabinet. It's probably the right? same way we always crack jokes, it. like over dinner. Yeah, yeah, probably. It's not like it's we can't shut it off. Uh, it's the triangle shape one. Okay. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Smash. Who knows? It's like you have a distraction item. You just like huck it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is like, our smoke was, bomb now. What was that <laughs> over there? Run. <laughs> Uh, I was busy being witty. Where's the liquor cabinet? Ooh, can you, like, pour him a whole fucking glass? What yes, What is sherry? It's like sweet fortified wine, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's kind of like wine syrup. <laughs> oh. That sounds like you would have it in so, very smallness. am I crushing it? Oh my god, this stop! This dinner would be taking literally minutes longer without you. Crushing it. It's yeah, it's a little sweet. Squee. It's put the glass on the table. Glass just, the table. It puts the glass on the table. Got uh. the ass polishing. <laughs> He's going to ingest like, particles. This is so awesomely constructed. To just be un unbearable? Yeah. Like, this is the most agonizing thing. It's like you can like almost the, see, like, the concrete and barbed wire. The... Like, just the agonizingly echoing footsteps. Yeah. Like, it's too fucking quiet. Yes, what else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the school. No! Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Stop being right? helpful, Chloe. You are a pair or a reefer. You Thanks. might have to light 
a marijuana they cigarette as well to uh, inhale the illegal narcotics. Bust this joint up a bit. Ha! This is how I light my roach. My marijuana cigarettes. <laughs> she, she looks away, looks back, and you're just like squatted on the table smoking a blunt. <laughs> The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? Drugs? Chloe just carries a little fire with her everywhere. Oh fuck, it's gonna get worse! Oh, <sighs> fucking clock. That clock, like. <laughs> so, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Don't smash the state. Don't I wish. smash the state. Rachel's all honors. Don't I'm smash still the state. I'm trying to get into remedial. What's it called? Vocabulary. <laughs> what about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Like, you just, you see a close-up on Rachel's neck, and, like, yeah, her muscles stand it's out like scary. pythons. As they just, After like, those not... floods upstate, I was like, yeah, the veins just, like, less rain this year. emerge Who knew and a spring blue. drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. Come on! Don't. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Fuck. Arson. Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. <laughs> I cannot the, imagine uh, how difficult the these last few years have been for in, you, Chloe. Um, now that you and Rachel yes, have become so friends, good. I want you to know like, that just our the way that all the DAs are so cool. square that they pack neatly together. Thanks. Well that said. It's like this seamless It's imperative block. in such yeah. troubled times as these that we remember what is most important uh -huh. to us. Family. Oh, that's... Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Chloe Ooh. just spits out a shattered molar. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Must make worse... Must make worse. Shall we take a break? <laughs> That's a great idea. All right, we're gonna take a quick break here. We'll be back. Have fun. Hi. Hi. We must not smash the state. Must not smash the state. See, wouldn't this all be so much easier if we knew that Chloe and Rachel, or if Rachel died at the end of this, if we knew that, this would be a lot easier. But the fact that they stick around here for two more years makes this all feel so much more sad, I guess, that you know that there is no actual, like, cathartic end. Mm. That this just kind of, like, Craters off. Anyway, <sighs> don't make it worse. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you, as long as you just keep calm. Oh boy, an interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. It just smashes well, the glass. Each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Whoa! Rachel? Cover. Ah, uh, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? Stop it, Chloe. Oh, boy. 
Well, it was worth a shot. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Are you gaslighting us? Think we saw. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is A that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, this is so good. Who's Rhoda? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Oh! Rachel, haven't you ever wondered why neither of your parents are blonde? Shadows it's a recessive trait. On the place that you left, our minds are troubled by the emptiness. Destroy the middle, it's a waste of time. From the perfect start to the finish line. And if you're still breathing, you're the lucky ones Cause most of us are um, heaving through corrupted What the fuck? Lungs. No, it's wiping out Drew's so death to our insides for fun Collecting names of the lovers that went wrong The lovers that went ha. wrong how excruciating this would have been when all the shit was not out yet. Hmm. Well, luckily we don't have to wait. We're going straight into episode three. What a fucking bomb to drop on you. Yeah. Ah. 
I actually did not see that coming at all. And yet, the setup was perfect. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. just like, oh, oh, no. Well, when you know it's coming, right? Like, Rachel specifically says, and that woman was not my mother. Right? And you're like, oh, I see what they did there. Intricate. Uh, Two percent kiss. Interesting, because this doesn't show um, second playthroughs. Mm. This is only people's first choice. At least that's what it was in the first game. Yeah. Sorry, Leels. Why do people in, in in every other kind of media have way better first kisses than I did? <laughs> I don't remember my first. Uh, it was probably awkward and crappy. I was rather insistently being invited inside and not terribly into it. Ugh. Uh, well, I mean, that's why this shit comes in a storybook. Because I, I think it's... <clears throat> Maybe people manufacture these because, like, it's what they wanted mm. and almost nobody gets. Mm -hmm. Wish fulfillment, right? Yeah. Summer camp. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we were t we told Elliot we'd go to the play with him. Why, why the fuck not? Technically, we did. Hmm. Let's see. Found the singing man. We didn't pay off our debt to Frank. Ah, that would involve getting the money and returning it to him. Yeah, first kisses definitely are overrated. Like, first time's an... It, it's a skill like any other. Hmm. It does actually get better with practice. Yeah, no. If you're expecting to do it flawlessly the first time with zero context, it's like, no. Nah, mm -hmm. It's going to be awkward and messy and crappy. Let's see, what are the, like, okay, we didn't give Frank the money, because that would involve actually just stealing it, yeah. right? Um, ba -ba -ba. okay. How do mouths work? You, if you, if you ever get the chance to watch Bill Plimpton's How to Kiss, mm. that's everything you need to know about it. I think, I think I mentioned this last week, but I still really love Zay Frank's, um, discussion around kissing where he's like so if you think of a human as a very long tube with an anus in, at one end and a mouth at the other yeah. then when you kiss you're actually just making a double length tube with assholes at both ends yeah slarp 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 hmm interesting quite an even split there all right Shit! 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 Huh. Well, that's exciting. Ikuze. Hmm. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage so fucking square. is for me to move yeah. in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Like you can just imagine Blood Blood David's tessellating very <laughs> This junkyard, all I've got left. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! 
Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit. Did you wait? Did he seriously? Us yeah. of our aerial. No fucking infernal chance. Inferno. Yeah. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this island. I want a pair the of corners of the world are near prologue. Yeah, what like the costume design is great. To my most hopeful wish. Yes. There's someone she Let's reminds leave. me of in that costume. I don't remember. For real. Is. If you I don't think mean this, it's, it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Final Fantasy 2 slash 4. Why can't you Kane. just tell me the fucking truth? Yeah, maybe. It's Kane. Rachel. Right? Maybe. That woman you saw. That wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Okay. Oh boy. Mononoke? Oh, yeah, yeah, with yeah, with the, bit, yeah. With the war paint? But are you sure that Chloe should be here for Chloe stays. Uh huh. <laughs> of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. Stage. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything. I've shielded you from for so long. This is such a great visual. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Oh boy. You are not gonna like what you see through that. Chloe. Good. I need you. This is a cool metaphor. Mm -hmm. It's like tying it back to the when they first actually witnessed the event. Also, the spelling of her mother's name, S-E-R-A, right, as someone points out yeah. in the chat, uh, to be, huh. right, or will when be. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored, her teachers, her friends, Sarah was everyone's <gasps> favorite, every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. I like her docs. And I also like how that's very clearly um, not the event as he's presenting. It's the event as you and Rachel imagine it. Because you're wearing very contemporary, they're wearing very contemporary clothing, right? She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college. Careers, yeah, like the American obsession with high families. school. Right, is very. Sarah wasn't here. looking for yeah. any of that. She was looking for escape. Oh dear. Can we go back? I only saw what I wanted to see <laughs> until it was almost too late. She was so beautiful, just like you. Oh boy. When 
and Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. The passive voice became pregnant. Oh, <sighs> dear. This all feels like someone else's life. Oh. Whatever happens, Rachel, I'm here. Children fix everything. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. What an interesting choice of words. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. Interesting that that's not the one that we can reflect on. Huh. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done, but after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world chance to be your mother I mean and this is so and carefully calibrated too so that he says like the worst thing in every possible way it pained me to hurt her like that but I'd do it again and again and again to keep you safe like he's got a very like War on drugs sensibility Instead about addiction. Rehearsal. Yeah. Interesting. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I sent her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now, she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. You think you have the right to decide that for her? When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. Maybe people change, right? Maybe so. 
But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. And this is also like very, very like presenting a case, right? There couldn't possibly be another side to this. Oh shit, let's check our phone. Yep. Tempest cast party. At the Tempest cast party. That's such that fucking Everybody music comes video. but nobody nuts at the Tempest <laughs> cast party. The music video we're talking about is like, it's just called the Crucible cast party. Yeah, the Crucible cast party. It's so fucking funny if you're a theater kid. Oh. You will just like scream. Yeah, Graham said it was unbearable. Yeah, I was just like, oh my god. I I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. I mean, he's certainly acting rationally. He may have not even been acting wrongly. Hmm. I imagine that the truth is a lot more complicated than... Yeah, we could have looked around first. Oh, that's... I am so happy! Okay. Citation needed. These, like, masks hung up in the room. Was that, like, a 90s girls thing? I don't know. Rachel? I don't know because I was not a 90s girl. Trying to think. I feel like I've seen it somewhere else. I mean, this entire game feels like it was structured or built by people whose understanding of teenage girls was heavily I need some informed to show by that my so called her. life. <laughs> we were so close to making our break last night. Now, I don't know. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? Holy shit, it is. Wow! What? Oh, it is a 90s girls That's thing? That's so wild! Oh, okay. Backstreet Boys plus three. <laughs> uh, personality psychology. May you always be safe. Sure. But from who? The earthquake? Just go through her shit. Yep. Fuck it. She's not getting up. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. Indefatigable of mind and spirit. Leo's right. always wanted to be Chloe, but much more like Max down to the haircut. Yeah. You think they'd be teaching Greek for yeah. the arts? Rachel's always made being an A student seem so easy. Almost sad to see all this effort. Chris for the mill. Lord of the Flies, huh? Gotta read 60 pages of Lord of the Flies. Exactly 60. Well, 56. What that? Flowers. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Oh, those carnations? Seems like everything has changed since then. Oh, Rose. 
noises. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. We always got carnations for the shows that we did. Really? Yep. There's a thing that our drama teacher was into. I kind of like Lord of the Flies. <laughs> Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy cool Rachel's going through. Well, I don't know if cool is... Cool story, bro. Cool Rachel's story, bro. really cool into no stars. Bad. Kids, like, totally go to this island. It's like, I wonder if it's, it's her no way of feeling connected. <laughs> Are you mad? Dude, and they totally, like, kill this kid with asthma. It's fucking lit, bro. Instead of a circle, their parents arrive in an airplane. <laughs> uh, just, uh, taking a big old greasy shit on classic literature. How do you like them apples? Stroop? This cookie is very good. Mm. Stroop waffles are like an Oreo, but kind of good. <laughs> Just gonna eat my feelings. Mm -hmm. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. We, in what universe do we graffiti? Maybe that nightlight could get Rachel's attention. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. The emotion I feel towards Nathan is so complicated. Well, like both Victoria and now we know Rachel is, uh, are hung out with Nathan, yeah. right? They both spent time with him. Mm -hmm. Which means that he probably Rachel's puts on a fine face so for a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, she seems so... I mean, I just look at her and I'm just like, you poor, hopelessly broken. Uh, alone. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Quark board. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Kiss me, Kate. Road trip. Hmm. From Douglas Adams, the beginning is always today, from Mary Wollstonecraft. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm impossible, Audrey Hepburn. And is it, it is is it well that I should with with to leave this dreary world behind, seeking for your fair utopia, which perchance I may not find. Wow, I butchered that. Nice. I just want you to find the guy just noodling on the acoustic The ying guitar. and <laughs> hadass yang of Rachel and huh. Before all else, be armed. Hmm. Well, it was like in the, the uh, episode of Hustle we did years and years ago where you were addicted to streaming and then we lock you in the bathroom. And I really wanted to have a cutaway to Beach playing the opening seven chords to Lust for Life. The funniest part And then just like have you like kick down the door of the bathroom being like, can you stop, right? And it would like, it, that would be when it would be revealed, but otherwise that would just be playing over the montage. Um, the funniest part is after that went live, Serge came over to clean our floor. Yeah, because he saw disgusting. the bathroom floor in the video and yeah. couldn't handle it. Yeah. Hey, girl. Let's friend. let's turn on the nightlight. Poot. Oh, it's so cute. This light needs more 
might. Smash. Quick, let's solder it up to uh, 45 amps. Wonder what I could find around here to oh, brighten up that nightlight. Let's get some three phase in here, which I'm sure is suitable for lighting. Get some glow sticks. I can't with the wig. That's. Huh. Well, there's a light. light. Just plug it into 240. Holy shit. Just take out all the fuses in the house and replace them with a roll of quarters. <laughs> there is a great image I saw was like fuse replacements and it had stuff like coins and wrenches and shit and one of them was like a Remington cartridge it's, it's like you know 40 amp with audio uh, <laughs> signal or audio notification oh that's good yeah the wrench was like 120 amp slow blow <laughs> oh have a good one cultural geek girl enjoy black panther Why pay for fuses? Because you have to walk all the way over to the store. The penny's just there. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Aw, shit. This is not going to work. Well, give it a shot. I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking right now. I want her to tell me when she's ready. How does that fit in your pants? Oh, if I had a dime. Sp spacious pants. Check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. No. I really Why? do appreciate the. Um, you remind us there's so much the, beauty out the there. The tearing of the projection across the oh, ceiling yeah. beams. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. I thought we were supposed to be present. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. Well, not all of them. They're all <laughs> lies. Do we argue or do we affirm? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then... We consulted the stars and found What's only the point? fire. And beyond the fire, nothing. It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. You're not alive. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Yes. I don't know. Do we want to say that? Do we want to affirm that? I mean, 
Do you want to set her more adrift? I'll I guess. take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. Ooh, we just don't have to press space bar. Yeah. More gameplay. The fact that she's here right now. That she came here. For me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? I got no fucking idea. Accurate. Honestly. I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Hey, you do. Just because we're not I in the quick time event doesn't mean do. we can't repeat the words. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. I know what you do that? I'll Hell give it a yeah. shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I got this tuck. Don't worry. I've got that one covered, too. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. I know you will. What about a platinum dragon? Even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams, he's there. It's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? No. I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. More gameplay. Cool cutscene. Mm. But. Actually. Oh, hello. Oh, 
fuck, this is weird. Would you go all fucking avant-garde on us? Oh, wow. Ha! <laughs> that's, that's quite an audience. Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <sighs> Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? I'd watch this play. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, it's fucked. Ugh. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's <sighs> the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't Can't improv, say no improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? <laughs> Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's... It's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. The world is dead and we the play. Anyway. Something about the whole world being a stage. So might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Wow. Dad. Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. That, wow. I don't think I ever got to do this when I was playing. No, me neither. I did run away from home once. It was lame. Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Uh-oh. Drugs? Wait. D. 
David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. No I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? I like Leo's my favorite part from the first Life is Strange at the end when Victoria's accepting her award. Some of the audience is like, you suck, Victoria! Yeah. <laughs> like, not even anyone you know. Yeah. Um, hmm. Keep him on the line. So, uh, the situation was a lot more complicated than you told me. What are you talking about? I promise I can explain. I... I have a favor to ask you first. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? Uh, friend? Do you think that's gonna... Yeah. I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. Me in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real asshole. That went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Trouble! Remember what your dad said about getting burnt? Hey! This is a really good way of doing objectives. Yeah. Or also, communicating objectives to the player. It also probably gets you, it's probably like a decent cost-cutting measure. Hmm. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Oh, yes. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. Did you just say, oh yeah, chol? <laughs> nice, work. nice work, Leels. <laughs> Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. There's an option to just show up like super stank. It's like, wow, you smell like an abattoir. Huh? It's like, hey. Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. You're fine, Lily. It's just, yeah. Sorry, Ward. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Have I ever watered that? Uh, better than nothing. Um. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Okay. Mm. Uh. Mr. Pib. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Figures. Search Engine 9. Hmm. 
Um, what? Nice to see my work is appreciated. <laughs> For the layer of nuance. Nathan almost pissed himself. Football. Thou art an idiot. <laughs> Five stars. Yeah. I wonder what it's like if you just skip. utterly crater the uh, performance. I don't know. They're probably like, it was filth. Hey, it's Pisshead! Awesome. Pisshead! Pisshead! Legitness! Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. If Rachel and I Skip were still leaving today, there's of course he did. literally nothing in there Best that's quit he ever taken. did. Yep. I'm glad there's a happy ending for at least some motherfucker in this. Yeah. Still can't fucking believe that David went through my stuff. Yeah. I will say, as much as I love this series, I look forward to when we can have stories where the queer characters get a happy ending. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be really it? lovely. I would like that. Is mom playing music? Are you still in the dream? Hmm. Oh! No, she spelled oh, it correctly. I was really, that would, really That would have been such a great, just tiny little detail. I remember like, Fuck this. you, Joel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I loved it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Ooh. Shit. Oh, you're fucked. <sighs> Can I just give that to Mom again for Mother's Day? If it really is moving in. Gross. No way. Mom actually sold her ring for $300. Yikes. I wonder if there's any way you can, um, uh, you can. Sports cars are really good oh. for. Putting on chicks. Huh. Is getting out of here still in my future? Or is this picture the closest I'll ever get? Either way. We're fixing that truck from the junkyard. Is that... David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay... My towel's probably in here somewhere. A logical place for a towel. Lots of washcloths. Cannot take oh, shower. Towel. Get shower. Just use multi washcloths. I That's truly cool. hate seeing so Just much of David's shit around here. It's an amber. 
Gross. What is that? Manly grip power? Pomade. Yo, pomade. Why? Awesome pirate towel. <sighs> Score. Hey! Also, additional pirate shit. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate. We never got around to it. Do you remember the end of 12 Monkeys? When they, they're going to the airport and they need to disguise themselves? And in his dreams, he's al there's always been the implication that this can't be really what happened because they don't look anything like those people in his flashback. Right. And it's the disgusting. psychologist steps out of the out of the change room and she's wearing the blonde wig and the outfit. It's been ages since I watched it. And you just have the, like, that sense of, like, doom. And you're just like, fuck! Also, it's been ages since I saw Legite. You should watch Ready that. Yeah. The best shower My dad always described life. how much it would freak out half the Hot water. At the, the Don't one let me down. Frame? Which one? There is one part of the oh. film that has motion. Not skipping my shower. Oh, right. There's, there's yeah. a blink. Yeah, there's a blink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not everybody sees it. And then he cascaded into Umazawa's jeté. Umazawa's <laughs> jeté. <coughs> You'll need that for later. You need it to kill the fucking zombie guy in the cistern. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah, if you don't have it, you'll have to pave the save. Start over again. I just want to do... Well, Cam had the idea to do an altar on, on a GZ that's, like, got the pier. And the guy going like this. <laughs> it's called Umazao's Jeté. Oh, that's awesome. like, the one person who would get that joke would be, like, would be... Ah! Slick as outfits but bonus outfits. What are bonus outfits it's the ones that we got in the dlc oh no shit which ones are those i don't know it's like a cat hot dog stuff. man wait what illuminati punk dough do we get to try it on that punk dough i mean the durgan looks like a tsr logo doesn't it yeah Gotta go punk dough. Hot dog, man. Oh, very fresh. Extremely 90s. Aggressively 90s. Cutoffs and stockings. Brush that dirt off your shoulder. Oh, there's actually something we're supposed to do here. Huh? We can try them all on. Sure. For like the full Sims effect. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's Max's t shirt. <gasps> oh my god! 
Hot dog man. This is gonna be so lame. <laughs> oh my god! I forgot about Hot Dog Man. Was he in the first game? Yeah. Oh, I can't. You remember. don't even find out his name until like I can't remember the, the fifth context. episode. He just he's like this weird mascot that turns up on a lot of things. Huh. Okay. Well, we should pick. Um... Pick one. Oh god, he's so creepy. You know what he looks like? The demand sausages everywhere. Oh poster. yeah, the 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 Soviet propaganda. They're, posters. It's not even propaganda. Well, just Soviet like yeah. public communications. It's a Soviet ephemera poster of this weird looking kid with a platter of sausages, and the caption is "Demand sausages everywhere." It's really weird looking. Oh. That's spicy. I think I kind of prefer the punk dough. Yeah. Then we can try out the D and D out. Maybe this is revealing too much about myself, but I always like the sort of like the horizontal frame by the the oversized um, shoulder loops. Wait, where? On the previous outfit. Oh, 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 yeah. <sighs> I kind of like the work shirt. Eh, but eh. DLC clothes. I like the punk dough. Mm -hmm. No, in the first game, she's wearing like a camo outfit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah. one. Demand sausages everywhere. Just imagine that in Cyrillic. Man, I wish I was this cool. Guess what, right. son? Now you are. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that yeah, truck. Yeah, is Hank... The Dad's toolbox should be in the name that downstairs. says hardware store owner the the hardest. Probably. Or is that hardware Gene? or barbecue maybe? Gene. Gene also owns a hardware store. I feel. Stu. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Jim. Jim. Propane. All I gotta do is sneak out. Buck. Money. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? Ooh, Morris. My name's Jim. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet. I told you three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, You're you not my dad! Make me Dumbass breakfast. motherfucker! I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class what a, act. What an amazing Madison. tableau. Yeah. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Okay, flip it. You just like lean your head and puke right hey, into the kitchen yeah, skillet there? and then peace out. Ah! Oh, we're fucked now. Hey, Chloe, your hair. When did you. Was this for the play? Yes. I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. Rebellious phase, you know how it goes. She still has fucking writing on her palm. None of that matters yep. now. So oh, that's I the, am so that's her objectives. You. That's good. Like that, that's so clever. Good I love you, that. Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. I like how he can never say anything nice. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Hey. Thank you, sweetheart. I didn't get you anything, but I, I, I remember definitely. I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. Score! I'm just here to pick up something. Then I, uh, I have to go. Get a job. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I, I don't know. 
I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Jugs. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. Rachel's having a fucking crisis. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. He just like opens his mouth and emits a 40 hertz tone. <laughs> oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is the best idea. You Shouldn't already you promised. Shave? Oh? Like, no, I mean like, Chloe, constant stubble bothers me. I've made yeah. an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So, if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, the idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you. And neither am I. I want this conversation to be well, over. Yep. This sounds like it's doomed to fail, but hey, kudos for trying. Chloe. What? I really meant it. Good job. The sarcasm. Can we be done now? I mean, well. I held up my... He looks like a fucking dilly bar. <laughs> Wait. One second. No, he looks like a... Like Don't a go, Rebelo. Chloe. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just so square. His head is so square. I've been meaning to show you something. Uh... Maybe... Maybe now's a what, good time. What is it? This... is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Okay. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance. He really does you? try. You tried. You tired. Here. You tired. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. Mother's Day. Yep. To even look so young. And this Phil guy. They look close. Oh, 
Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Rice cereals. Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. Ooh. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Yeah, I mean, what made, what makes David such an interesting antagonist is that he's not, like, without redeeming qualities. Yeah, well, he's, he's just kind of a fuck up, but it's he's a, he's kind of a fuck up because he's like really hurting mm -hmm. and has no mechanism by which he can fix that. Yeah, because he's being trained to be a stone. Yeah. hurts us all. Yeah. Like this, this exactly. It's like, must not have feelings. Must, feelings or weakness. Feelings or weakness must endure. Be boop. Come on. And because I don't have feelings, everything I do is rational. Huh. I love how fucking filthy her hands are. Work with me here. Work with Daddy. Like he's he's an antagonist. When I oh, say yeah. antagonist, I just mean like in the mechanical storytelling sense. Mm -hmm. Like there's a difference between an antagonist and a villain. Damn it! Yeah. All villains are antagonists, but not all antagonists are villains. Yeah. Well, David definitely like stands between Better. you and your goals. Yes. But still needs a like, bit Nathan more is a love. Mm -hmm. um, I can salvage this the beast. Name? Mr. I just need something. Whatever. Chloe, this is David. Yes. Sort of. You want some help? He's really, really trying. It's. <sighs> oh man. To find the right tool for each problem. I gotta fix it. We should take our second break. Just oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we still have time. Okay, yeah, let's take a second break. We'll be like two or three minutes. Yep. So, um, BRB. Guess who's back? Back, back again. again. Turn on the radio. Yeah. I really want Rachel and Chloe it's to be happy together like too. Need In a fact, manual. I would settle for like Chloe and Max I'm to be happy really together. Really glad it's yeah. Here. Alas, I will say I'm glad that um, Gone Home has mm -hmm. a happy ending. Me too. That was nice. Like it has that hard fake out. It was so good. Yeah. Because like you expect that. Of, yeah. Of like a story about queer people, you're like, oh, she killed herself. And it's mm -hmm. like, no, they fucking ran away and are probably really happy. Yep. Beer, 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 beer. More like that, please. Oh, skips on the radio. Yes. As yet, what I want you to do is crank this that stereo up as loud as it shows. Boom! Just gets blown fix this across the junkyard. If I could get a good enough grip on it. Oh, actually, yeah. No, no. Not okay. Helping. Even better. You have like Chloe, Max, Rachel, OT3. Mm. Right? They'd be a fucking girl band! It would be lit! This is what fan fiction is for. Infinite timelines, Morty! <laughs> there. Fits like a deadly electric glove. It, uh, <laughs> Just because this was the one that made a game about doesn't mean it's the primary ti uh, timeline. Timeline. Pretty dunked up. 
See this, the, 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 this, this, this says that in like 97% of the timelines they got together and like made a band, they got lots of money. <laughs> What's in this bottle? I don't know. Um, what are OT3s? OT3 is, um, like you know what an OT3 is, right? Yeah. One for Sometime Gary. Before yeah. It's born. exactly the same, but it's oh, three people. three people. At this point, I think that a ancient triangle. duct tape is better or than a crow's foot? I can do. Hmm. Better leave it be. I guess, yeah. No, Pisshead is totally not crust punk. They're, like, very much like a, a punk band. Hmm. In Rick and Morty verse in 5% of this time when his max is a weird testicle headed feature that it's glass. I could believe it. Yeah, fan fiction is literally for what? like you to reimagine things the way you would want it to. It's Maybe. like imagine if they all worked in a coffee shop together. Or but what oh honey. Sick. Or if they were this like awesome. ninjas together. Fan fiction, or maybe more correctly, fiction. Yeah. The the fan caveat, as in some cases a needless mark of derision, I guess. Yeah. It's like classical authors would never <laughs> ever crib notes from, from, from or or write stories about about. Wait, shit. What play were we just in? Have you read this Gilgamesh shit? It's so fucking awesome. But, like, what if I cast it with, like, Not more Cyclopses and, like, it, it, was, it was Greek or something? <laughs> the OT3 needs to feature Kate Marsh on keyboards. You just kidnap her. She turns into a godless heathen. <laughs> <sighs> Much better. Yeah, could you imagine, like, 20 years, the happy ending, where we all get, like, all get out of this town, and Chloe just opens a, um, becomes a mechanic? And then, like, you visit that mechanic shop, and she's like, yeah, your, uh, your, uh, Is gasket's all fucked. It's gonna be at least $7,000. And she just, like, fucks you on a car repair. The distributor cap was pretty gross. I just imagine, like, them sitting on a porch, just like 89 mm. years old. What just sort of like, see? still with the blue streak. Mm. Uh, just like taking pot shots at kids <laughs> driving past. <laughs> and rewinding time. Oh. Gotta be a lion. I know. Line for line crap, yeah. You added the word fan to identify when you're not being paid for it. You know regular people don't get paid for their work all the time, right? <laughs> Sometimes fans get paid more than actual creators. That's good. Hmm. Alright, so there's gonna be a mini game here, right? Probably. It's not like I need a manual. One. Is but she I'm being Sundere with the car? One, two, three, four. Five. Now, Cam. Yeah? You remember what happened the last time you encountered something like this? Just do it in order, they <laughs> Just said. Just do it. That was so fucking funny. Yeah. That's <laughs> a snip. Boom! No, no, Kate Marsh ends up like, um, what's her face in Fear and Loathing? The distributor cap. Just like. Yeah, they lay a bunch of acid on her. <laughs> and she ends up all small. I'll scoop the gunk off the cat. Doing those portraits of Bar Barbara Streisand? Oh god. And they find her late. Oh god. Yeah, they have to get rid of her so they, like, pretend that they've been killed. And then bump into her later. Wait, are these entire games just you ditching Kate Marsh? Oh. No, maybe I'm just thinking about, um, uh, Fear and Loathing too much. That should help keep shit distributed. I, wow, that's such a good fake out. I was really expecting that to be a game. Oh, fuck. Oh, maybe. ABFW alert system? Oh, shit. Ugh. 
Go back from whence you came. It'd be great if you could fuck this up and just get turned into a pink mist as you ground out 30 amps from a car battery. It's like, Bleh. There's just this flash and you sort of Start stagger and then turn into the stump where your arm used to be. <laughs> Carbon. It's just sort of smoking. Oh, of course. You just sort of thoughtlessly, like, extract the remains of a spark plug and then pass out. Oh, I know that the, the stereotype of fanfiction is that it's terrible writing, but that's not always true. Mm -hmm. I have a fucking bestseller, like New York Times bestseller, in my bathroom right now that is the worst thing I have ever read in my life. Please? Really? You remember that vampire romance book? All, va all good vampires go to heaven. Oh, right. It is indescribably shitty. The, the, the vampire and angels one? Yes. Sorry, vangels. Vangels. Like, no, seriously, yeah. Cam, it's so much worse than you think. Like, the one that- How did we even get that? That was a gag, right? It was so funny. It was too funny, so I had to steal it from, uh... Oh, right, it was, it was part of the White Elephant gift exchange. Yeah, yeah, I was like, this is the funniest book. It, it's just... <laughs> yeah, Sandra Hill, Good Vampires Go to Heaven. Oof. Ooh, read a sample. Ow! My throat. Are you okay? Ah. What did you do? Sputtered so hard at the very first line. Yeah. Uh. Hey. Junkyard queen. You know what? I'm just gonna link this so you Where can you all at? enjoy it. It's fucking. Oh god. The whole book is like this. Hey. Holy enjoy. shit! Your hair. It's so. Awesome. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot, but oh right, yeah, it's the one with what's his name to... on the cover too. Yeah. Uh, hey, not from sure the if you saw, but someone moved your truck. Oh, Jason Statham. No way. Yeah, it looks like Jason Statham on the cover. Yeah. Should we check it out? Hello. Hey, Price. Nice wheels. Uh, uh oh. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Oh. oh. Frank here's becoming a man. Oh no. Aren't you, this big guy? Bad. What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? Oh boy. Seriously, Frank? If you think I would pocket a thousand bucks of your money, you're even dumber than you look. I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. He's really fucking scary. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Yes. Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Oh, this is scary. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Why is it? That chicks think it's okay to hit me. But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. I'm sure there's a lot of people on Reddit who would be glad to explain that to you. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Is there gonna be a scrap in the yard? 
We give this man no. nothing. No. I, I was just asking for some help. Nothing. It's I not a big deal. Everything. No. Maybe I'll make it one. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy. But that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. Um, I, I'm intrigued. She's a friend, an old family friend. <laughs> this chick doesn't have any family or any friends. Yeah. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Oh, boy. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? I do. So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Uh... Come oh! on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. Uh... This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh ah! Again! Oh, you fucking bitch! How to make a tourniquet. <laughs> this is where we find out last episode that we should have taken the first aid kit. Yeah, it's just like a um, survival horror game. There's a point you can get to where you, uh, like, just get to get to the Oh, right. Oh, right. 
Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? Um. Oof. I think we just play to our guilt here. Sure. It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. Full on but interview a witness mode. Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us, so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? Do you want a dirt on you? I mean, that's true. Mm-hmm. When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? It, it sounds like he already knew. Yeah. He was just like, oh I, shit. I don't know. Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Get all stabby. Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but... When he attacked her, I just froze. Okay. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. Wait, what? Were we making a deal? What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? After all this, I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have, um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. Well, this is just like... It will be the ultra some time before Rachel wakes smooth, up. calm... I promise. I'll let you know when she interview does. Mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? Thanks. Hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. 
Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. God damn it. I love how bro Steph is. Come mm. on. She's really cool. She's just like, so yeah, I'm thinking anyway. of. Unless you're. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. It's like, unless you. Yeah, yeah, kind of. She's like, all cool? Yeah. It's cool, bro. Yeah. <laughs> just like, I need... Steph, you're all right. I like you. Yeah, you just you slam on it a second time and it falls over and then you die. I just I just imagined like um blood sport where like he he, he like puts his his if like finger on the case sane, it's like no I need the to bottom stay candy bar and goes just detonates in this here. chocolate smear. Yeah, it's like I want you to get the candy bar out of the machine. It's like, no, okay, no the back oh, one. The back. <laughs> yep. Don't get in more trouble. I need glucose. Yeah, the firefighters at the hospital doesn't 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 speak well. Oh hey. Yeah. Are these all firefighters? Oh god. Ugh. So many hot dog mans. Yep. You should probably leave that alone. Ah! <laughs> So hungry. I want like twenty At more. At least put of it those. in the garbage. I, I kind of like the idea that she just fed the entire thing into her mouth like a log into a wood chipper. Yeah. If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? That's pretty sound advice. Yeah. Hello. Is this Drew's room? Let's listen to the firefighters. I suspect Drew's interaction. More like silent hospitals slowly drive friends and family insane. Teenager equal bottomless food hole. Yeah, where does it all go? Making more teenager, usually. Hey. Just heard the fire. <sighs> you mean it's controlled? No. It's completely out. It extinguished itself. How could that be? Hell if I know. Wait, what? If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. Those guys look exhausted. Like, teenagers have ludicrous calorie requirements. Mm. Right? It's why they're always tired, too. Unless you get stabbed. They're pretty high Isn't performing. It? Is it? I don't know. Well, you're growing a lot. Well, why the fuck am I always tired? Everything. I don't about know. This fire I mean, has been I atypical. actually know the answer to that. But isn't it like. Somebody in chat mentioned this, and I think, like, this sounds reasonable, but, like, their brain's developing quite quickly. Mm. The answer is depression and sleep apnea. Mm. Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? I wonder how he's doing. All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. Here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. You just burst into Drew's tears. Hurt, of course. But there's other things going well for us. Uh, I'm moving back into my, my old apartment in two and a half hours. I don't know if you know this, but, uh, Mikey's been crashing at Drew's dorm. Oh? Uh, I had a bit of trouble with work, and it's all been pretty hard. Anyway, Drew managed to scrape together enough to get me back on my feet. 
I'm glad things are starting to work so out. So glad then. we didn't steal that shit. Oh no. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. This is what the bad ending looks sure. like. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Yeah, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? No idea. Don't know. Uh, no. Sorry. This weekend was actually the first time I really hung out with them. That's all right. I appreciate that you've been keeping my boys company. <laughs> Drew's mm. got so many hopes for himself riding on their knee. It seems like he's been even more. This driven is what later. the bad ending looks like. I think my work situation's disappointed him. Both of them, actually in different ways. Uh, sorry I'm laying all this on you. I've been trying to keep it light in there. That's okay. Uh, nice of you to listen. Do me a favor. Don't worry either of them with... Oh, excuse me. Hello. Yeah, I mean, what's the alternative? Like, I don't know. Oh, the severe pain. Oh, he's circled the severe pain. Hey, oh. you made. Are it. they playing D and D? Oh. Yeah, that's lit. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. Fun day, huh? Keep it light. So, <laughs> what have you been doing all day? Um. Not much. Homework. Hanging out with my dad. Dealing with the dumb jokes about the plate in my leg. Sorry to hear it. It's it's all good. Oh, the stitches. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Oh, she's into you. Pretty cool. Everyone should have hair I like this. I bet you'd look cool with a little color. Yeah? I'll have to think about it. Maybe something red? Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? OT4. You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon. Fucking Merrick. Oh, so much for keeping it light. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? Uh... No. Somehow we've got our own shit with him now. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. I killed them ribs. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. It's nice that Mikey and Steph seem to be staying here all day. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Uh, what the hell's that next to him? What is that? Oh, I want to eat that. Right. <laughs> You're just like, no, oh, we can just eat his chocolate pudding. It's just like, oh, that was my favorite. It's okay. Those must Wait, be can you graffiti the pants. legs? Oh, they- Oh, they- They can't let you- They don't let you- They really should have added that. That's so perfect. I think the football team needs 
thicker helmet. Heard you lost your balls. Congrats on your vasectomy. <laughs> That's not how that That's works. That's not how that works yeah. at all. Definitely too many concussions. Save me some painkillers. You missed the worst bio test ever. <laughs> yeah, that that scans. That yep. scans is high school. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. I fucking hope so. This is probably one of the things where it's like, there's one way for Drew to get back in game. Mm -hmm. And if you fuck That'll it up, be an interesting them, read. It's just... Yep. AP bio homework. So I've heard that they have reversible vasectomies now. Aren't vasec weren't vasectomies always reversible? No, I don't believe so. I thought you could always just like. Either that or there's yeah. just a more convenient Drew one. I thought. I wonder if it has like two really keys. Low. Like, you get one and your wife hey. gets one? I'm sorry for losing it. Would be convenient. Turn your key! The end. It's nice yeah. of you to Turn come Turn your down. key! Now, now That's we'll... not the correct procedure! The, the, the new reversible one is a plastic stent. They cut a hole and they slide the stent yeah, inside that, to block it yeah. yeah, it's the new one. Oh, okay. I don't even know if they're doing yet. I just heard about it. Hmm. That's probably coming eventually well it's i guess not anymore um really <laughs> yeah wait there's a switch you can get installed right now does it come with an app what if you lose your phone why did i just invent that all in my head <laughs> weird anyway i lost access to my last pass <laughs> i mean my last pass no is pressure. in my nuts <laughs> i know it's going to take a while I WANTED TWO KIDS! You know what? I'm kinda tired. Oh. Oh, right. You right. just get a glue syringe, you're like, we're doing this the uh, hard way. I'll leave you alone. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Alright, well we made this worse. There's a mechanical switch. Wait, like in, um, Chobits? <laughs> in 8 out of 10. <laughs> Split tibial plateau fracture. Very severe pain. Worst pain possible. I love that XKCD strip about oh. this exact scale where, a scale where he's like, tell me how, how much pain you're experiencing, with 10 being worst pain imaginable. And he just sort of goes very serious for a moment and writes two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there, there was also a, um, uh, oh, what's her name? The, uh, uh, like you wanted to say Jenna Marbles, but it's a completely different person who wrote hyperbole and a half. Anyway, one, one oh, of the strips um, where she's talking about, like, the pain scale. Allison. Sorry, what? Allie Brosh. Allie Brosh, yeah. Allie Brosh. Um, but yeah, she has one of these, too, where it's, like, two is, like, I don't know, it's, there's kind of a weird itching in the back of my throat that is kind of on the same level, and then just like, having no context for like, what is worst possible pain. Yeah. Right? Like, I have a pretty vivid imagination. Alright. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah. Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. All right. Uh, it's we're out of time. now. Yeah, so we should uh, pack it in. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back on this next week, I guess. Yep, which should be our wrap-up. Yeah, we'll, we'll wrap it up and uh, then maybe leave have like, like an hour for crying. Yeah, probably about that. Yeah. I would think that. Um, 
say hi to our subs. So yeah, we'll um, come back to you next week with like the final half of episode three and then probably like about an hour or so of wrap up. I don't know, maybe less, we'll less more. We'll, we'll play it by ear. Um, okay, so Screaming Peasant reset for the third month saying cheers to chocolate chip cookies. Aaron Moore for two months, been rewatching Life is Strange, Talking Sim, Super Surreal, and others' context and backstories. Jolly G29 reset for the 17th month, saying, I haven't played episode three yet, but I have to stick around for the play scene and what comes after. Uh, until May, except for 13 months, well, aren't you guys just adorable? 5,000 bits from uh, Admiral Mamo. I just got a promotion and raise today. I want to thank Alex, Graham, Cam, Paul, and the rest of Lur as well as the community for helping to keep me uh, sane for these many years. You folks are so awesome. Keep it up. Thank you, Mamo. Seabits! Thank you, friend! For the 42nd month. It's too late. I'm here already sub. N Nani? N Nani? Uh, Strawberry Pepper is cheered with 500 bits, saying send good vibes and pepper, pepper mini friends with bits of shiny. DJ Shire for 33 months. Chloe could have saved everyone in Arcadia Bay if she'd just used her helicopter. Boo! Boo! Uh, Mr. Flip resuffered the 54th month, saying, prestigious acting talent. Earth and Nun with 51 bits. Can't watch live, but looking forward to the VOD. Uh, type 1 diabetic, cheered with a thousand bits. Thank you. Nova Girl 5, just subscribe. Welcome back. Uh, Gekyoryu resuffered the 49th month, saying, 49 months and only 50-ish minutes late because I was out seeing Black Panther. I hear it's good. Clench Eastwood sub for 13 months, hoping to say, uh, quick, say I love TS and you guys. That's really dude. Alex Cam and Lur off to bed by, by tomorrow. Kid Roar is a brand new subscriber. Thanks to Rod Pusher. Thank you both. Welcome. Uh, sorry, Lord Orcus for 27 months. My sub is uh, for my favorite streamers. Glad I could catch us live. Uh, the BSV resub for 14 months. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Record for three months. Two. Is there only one try at youth for us? Or is every fresh start a youth at its own? Do you think it's an edgy line? I think it's okay to be edgy sometimes. Hmm. hmm. Uh, Dreamspan reset for the 14th month saying, Woo! 14 months! That's almost a year! A flying muffin for four months. OT3s are my jam. <laughs> Fumako Taro has just given us 10,000 bits. 10,000 bits for my favorite boys. Hell of a stream. Brah! Hell of a donation. That's extraordinarily generous. Thank Brah. you. Brah! And Rock Pusher with 100 bits. Thank you. Good stream. Cariel resub for the 17th month saying, Good game, good streamers, never stop, don't plan to. Huh. All right. Uh, until next time, tomorrow we're on with uh, the crap shot. Yeah, you, and I'll be back morning. tomorrow morning, 9.30, I believe, for Now Kiss, where Kathleen and I will hopefully be wrapping up um, Doki Doki Literature Club, which has been interesting so far. I bet. Yeah, or at least... Actually, no, we haven't gotten to the interesting part yet. I've been told the interesting part begins soon. Okay. And uh, so far, the, the feeling of dread is building nicely. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, so, see you all in the future. Later.